Hi there, I'm Rami from Ledger, and today I'm going to introduce you to Memo Tags. If you've been in the crypto space for a while, you may have noticed that some platforms include a field for memos when executing a transaction. Memo Tags, also called memos or destination tags, are notations on transactions that ensure specific crypto assets are sent to the correct address. In this video, I'll explain when you will need to use memo tags and how to input the information when using the Ledger Lite app. When you use your Ledger device, every crypto asset you own is protected with secure self-custody keys linked to distinct wallet address unique to your account. However, exchanges will sometimes operate differently and process all transactions of a specific cryptocurrency through a single wallet address. In these instances, exchanges will require you to include a memo tag on the transaction so they know what account those funds belong to. In other words, if your transaction needs a memo tag and doesn't have one, then you will lose your cryptocurrency because the exchange will not know where to put the funds. It's kind of like dropping off a letter without an address. The post office will have it, but will know what to do with it. Not every transaction needs a memo tag and requirements can vary depending on the exchange and the specific blockchain network being used. It's important to check with your specific exchange to know if certain crypto transactions require this input. For our demo today, we're going to show you how to use Memo to move XRP between Ledger Live and Coinbase. First, open up your Coinbase account on your desktop and access your XRP assets. Select the Receive Crypto option on the right side of your screen. You will then see a pop-up QR code appear along with a wall address and the memo tag, referred here as the XRP memo. Next, open the Ledger Live app on your mobile phone, select XRP, and hit the Send button. You can scan the QR code provided on Coinbase to fill in the wallet address details. Using the XRP memo on Coinbase, you will now need to manually input the memo tag into your Ledger Live app. Next, specify the amount you wish to transfer, then verify all information is correct in the summary section. It's important to verify you have entered the correct information for both the wall address and the memo tag. Do not leave this field blank. Otherwise, Coinbase will not know where these funds belong. You will then be prompted on your ledger device to sign the transaction. Again, verify the information on your ledger is accurate before confirming the transaction. Congrats, you've now successfully transferred crypto assets from your Ledger wallet to Coinbase with a memo tag. Now, let's say you want to move these assets from the exchange back to your Ledger XRP account. First, go to your Ledger Live app on your mobile phone, select the Receipt button, then hit XRP. You will then be prompted to perform address verification. Follow the on-screen instruction shown on your Ledger device. Verify that the address between the two devices are the same, then tap Confirm. Once your address is verified, go to your Coinbase account and select Send Crypto. You will then be prompted to specify the wallet address you want for the transaction and include a memo. Exchanges that require a memo tag for receiving funds will often require memo tags for sending assets out. However, your Ledger device contains your own unique wallet address. There is never a need to specify a memo tag when sending money to your Ledger. Because you can't leave the memo field blank on Coinbase for this transaction, when requested, you can input whatever you want here. We're going to use 1234 for this transaction. Now that the fields are completed, follow the on-screen instructions with Coinbase to complete the transaction. Voila, I've successfully sent my crypto back to my Ledger wallet. While most transactions will occur in a few moments, it can take a day or two before the funds appear in your account. In this video, we covered all the important aspects of memo tags and how to use them for both sending and receiving funds. If you want to review a specific one, you can scroll through the chapters below. Thanks for watching this Ledger tutorial. 
please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, let us know. Till next time, stay secure.